Good morning, class. How are you today? I am glad that you are all fine today. So, Irene, will you please lead us the prayer? Amen. Thank you. So, before going back to your seat, kindly pick up the pieces of papers and trash and arrange your chairs, please. Okay, thank you. So, let me check the attendance first. Who are absent today? Great! So please clap your hands for being present today in my class. So before starting our new discussion, who can give me a short recap about our topic last meeting? Yes, Anne? Would you like to give what was our topic last meeting? Excellent! So what are action verbs? Okay, very good. So who can give me an example of action verb? Great! It is good to know that you are not forgetting our past lesson. So are you ready for our new lesson? Great! So before we start with our formal lesson, let me show you first some images that I got from websites. These are real-life signages with bad grammar. Observe the following and share your ideas in the class. So what do you observe in this signage? Very good! So the one who put up this school signage is just one of the many people who are confused with the difference of your and the contraction of you and are, which is your. So what do you observe in this another signage? Brilliant! So this signage shows that a tiny detail like an apostrophe really matters. It must be a contraction of it and is, which is it. So the images that I've shown you may be funny, but we must take bad grammar seriously. So the key to avoid committing the same mistakes is to know the basics. So our preliminary activity was connected to our topic for today, which is the subject verb agreement. So for today, Allow me to share with you what I believe the true secret to avoid bad grammar. You will explore and learn about the first five rules of subject-verb agreement. Specifically, after this lesson, we will be able to attain the following objectives. The first one is to identify the form of the subject and verb in the sentences. The second one, choose the correct form of the verb to make it agree with the subject. The last one is to familiarize with the five rules of subject-verb agreement. So for today, we will have the first five rules. Are you ready to listen and participate? Great! So, rule number one, if the subject is singular, add S, E, S, or I, E, S to the verb. If the subject is plural, the verb must be in the base form. So, here are the examples. The baby drinks the milk. The babies drink the milk. So, in order to find out if the subject and verb agree, there is a need to identify the subject of the sentence. In example number one, or in the sentence number one, the subject is singular. Therefore, the verb is also singular. In example number two, our subject is plural. Therefore, our verb is also plural. Notice the difference in the formation of subject 
from singular to plural compared to the formation of verb from singular to plural. So when we transform our subject into plural, we usually add S or ES. But in verb, adding S makes the verb singular. Rule number two, if there is a two or more subjects in joined by end, the verb must be in plural or base form. So here are the examples. Jack and Jeff are twins. Pizza, pasta, and pastries top my go-to food list. Reminder, there are subjects in joined by end but requires a singular verb for they function as one. Example, cookies and cream is my favorite ice cream flavor. Rule number three, for subjects enjoined by or, either or, and neither nor, the verb must agree with the subject nearest to it. Examples, the kid or his parents occupy the parking space on weekends. Either my cousins or Jillian wants to buy tickets for an online concert. So in the first sentence, the subject nearest to the verb is parents, which is plural. Therefore, the verb is in the base form. On the other hand, in the second sentence, the subject nearest to the verb is Jillian, which is singular, so an S is added to the main verb. Do you understand, class? Great! So we will now proceed with the rule number four. Do not be misled by the phrase that comes between the subject and the verb. The verb must always agree with the subject. Example, the collection of books grows bigger each month. <coughs> In that sentence, the phrase of books may separate the subject and the verb. But the rule says we should not be misled by it. We should focus on the subject collection which is singular therefore an s is added to the main verb grow rule number five intervening words like together with as well as in addition to and including do not affect the number of the subject example the high school students together with their teacher need to visit the museum so what is the subject and the verb in that first sentence yes irene excellent so in this sentence the subject is plural that's why the verb is in base form okay well done class do you have any questions clarifications or additional informations Great! So at this point, let's have a very short mind testing. Complete each sentence by choosing the verb enclosed in parentheses. Make sure that it is in simple present tense and it follows the subject and verb agreement rules. So the first sentence. Busy people reply replies to text messages late. Neither Alan nor his brothers plan plans to go on the night swimming. Anna and Faith always write writes on their diary before they sleep. So who wants to answer number one? Okay, Grace. Excellent. So the subject people is plural. So the verb must be in base form. Next sentence. 
Yes, Mika. Very good. So the subject near to the verb is plural. So the verb must be in plural or base form. Okay, so very good class. So now, based from our discussion, what is subject-verb agreement? Yes, Grace. Okay, excellent notion, Grace. So please give yourself a round of applause for participating well in our discussion. Again, do you have any question, clarification? Okay, that's great. So you will have an individual activity. I already posted it in our G classroom. I will check individually and release your score through email. And then afterwards, I'll post your assignment. So class dismissed, see you next meeting.